to my channel hope you all are doing fine at your end and right now we are going for breakfast and after we return we will be leaving for North Goa exploring <music> Now we have reached uh, Anjana Beach and here we are moving on to the Curly's Beach Shack because there was an article where I read that this is one of the most popular beach shacks so we decided let's go there and have the lunch so now we are heading towards uh, Curly's Beach Shack to have our lunch We are back from day one tour and as I shared in the morning that we are going to explore North Goa today so frankly speaking it was a 
nice experience i mean going and exploring all the uh, beaches and exploring the shacks the food the different kind of juice drinks mocktails and cuisines was an amazing experience overall so i'll start uh, from where we went so first we started uh, yeah first i would like to share that as we are staying in mayfair hideaway spa resort it took us around 2 hours to reach chapora fort which is you know the topmost part of the north goa so we started our journey from mayfair we reached chapora fort after 2 hours and 15 minutes and then we explored the chapora fort and of course chapora fort is famous location because it is known as the dil chahta hai fort as well so yeah we tried to take some pictures over the place where you know they the i mean the star cast of uh, dil chahta hai were sitting so we tried to take some photos over there and the view from there was amazing because we could see the entire view of the sea the beaches over there a lot of crowd over there so you know the view from from that height was really nice so we started our journey with that beautiful view of uh, goa and then we uh, went to vegetor beach which is around 7 minutes away from uh, chapora fort and then after vegetor we went to anjana beach and at anjana beach uh, you know we spent a lot of time i mean we spent around 2 and a half hours over there because uh, the ambiance was amazing and i was uh, desperate to have lunch at kali's beach shack because once i was going through a blog and there the blogger had mentioned a lot of things about kali is beach shack so i was you know kind of uh, really uh, excited about having lunch over there or trying out their cuisines but uh, frankly speaking i ordered a plate of fish curry rice and a plate of green chicken curry that was cooked in thai style so my uh, the the cuisine that i ordered was something new for me something unusual for me that i have ever tasted in india but uh, truly speaking uh, i i didn't like the curry i don't know why but you know the taste was something something different that that i was not happy to have that as lunch but yes the curry rice was really nice and you know after you know exploring the beach and being in the sun throughout the day so i was uh, i was you know in a mood to have something very light i mean that's not too spicy not too oily so when i got the fish curry i was really happy to see that the food was really spice free and oil free and it was very healthy so i enjoyed that uh, curry fish curry rice of course and then the best part of having lunch at that shack was the juice they made juice out of fresh fruits so we had one glass initially we ordered one glass of watermelon juice and one glass of orange juice it was so nice and it was so refreshing that we were compelled to add it to order two more glasses and you know somehow after exploring chapora fort vegetor beach and then anjana beach we were quite dehydrated and i desperately wanted to drink something that that may make me hydrated that will keep me hydrated and that will you know uh, kind of rejuvenate me again to explore more so no doubt the drinks were really nice and i was very happy to have that glass of juice in my hand and uh, the ambiance over there was very nice and the food as i told you i didn't like the thai cuisine but the usual food that we people have like fish curry and rice it was it was very nice and i really liked it and there was a huge crowd over there and of course i'm going to share the vlog uh, as well so this was all about anjana beach and then after having after spending 2 hours and 30 minutes over there having um, an amazing lunch over there we headed towards baga beach and then baga beach was uh, you know it was usual because all because we spent a lot of time at anjana beach so we were not uh, that interested in spending lot more time at uh, baga beach so we just spent uh, 10 15 minutes and we took some pictures over there and then we left for uh, next uh, church so i'll be sharing the name of the church because uh, i i don't remember its name properly and i don't want to say anything wrong about it so i'll share the name uh, in my vlog 
and uh, then we again came back to our hotel and we had some snacks over there and soup and uh, I of course I took a shower because as you can see my hair is still wet so uh, we took a shower and after having a shower I, I was quite well and uh, you know we were again ready to explore <laughs> so this was all about uh, today's i mean day one and then on day two we are going to explore uh, south goa and uh, there are quite a few number of beaches and then again uh, some church so we look forward to having a great day and this time i'm going to carry a lot more water because today we were carrying all already carrying two liters of water but that was not at all enough for us we had to buy two liters of water again and then we had to buy a lot of fruit juices and you know i would recommend that if you are going out i mean we selected december because we thought uh, it would be nice you know uh, it's quite kind of wintry season so it would be nice to explore uh, when you know you can explore easily when you are in sun throughout the day because it's winter but here it's it's entirely different you don't even feel like it's december i was feeling it was like april or may so it was very hot here and i was badly dehydrated so if ever you are planning a trip to goa so please uh, carry something with you that will keep you hydrated throughout the journey throughout the day and uh, that's it so thank you so much and stay tuned please like share and subscribe to my channel for more such travel vlogs till then take care bye bye